It's supposed to be human hair. I've never owned kinky, curly human hair. So it's gonna be interesting to see what this hair does as I wet it. I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss. Hey everyone, Organic Key Share. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. So today I'm doing something out of the ordinary. I have not done a hair related video in a long time. I just purchased this hair last week I think and it came in a few days ago and I want to make a wig out of it. So I want to show you guys the hair. I got it off Amazon.com. If you guys never thought about going on Amazon to get hair, try it because um, I got this hair off Amazon. I really like it. I got it about a year ago and it has been holding up very well. So the company that I got this hair from, this is not sponsored, I paid for this hair myself, is EC Hair or Issa Hair. I really love the packaging, like how it came. It didn't just come in like little plastic baggies. It came like in a box. I thought that was really nice. And then you just kind of slide this up and then everything is like nicely packaged in here. Oh, isn't that nice? I thought that was very, very nice, like very professional. So then it comes with a little card. It also comes with a pair of lashes. These are a little dramatic. I don't wear lashes, but these look extra dramatic. So let's get into the hair. So the hair is, I don't know what it's called. I don't remember, but I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see what the hair is called. But the size is a 14, a 16, and an 18 and then it comes with a 12 inch lace closure. This is the first time I'm actually pulling it out of the package. Like I didn't pull out the package when I first got it because I wanted to do this whole unboxing. So yeah, this is what the hair looks like. It smells like um, synthetic, synthetic weave is what it smells like. But it's supposed to be human hair, I believe, or I don't remember. I don't remember what the, the thing says, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be human hair or human hair blend or something like that. So this is the 18. So I'm gonna use all of the 18 and I wanna use half of the 16 and then the 12 inch closure is the plan. Okay. So this is the 16. The 18 and the 16. It feels really nice, it feels really soft. It's a little tight, like the curls are super, super tight. They seem like, what's the word? They don't really feel natural, like they feel kind of like processed curls. Let's open one of these bad boys up to see how much hair is in here. See if they cheated me. Dang, I secured this joint. You really don't know until you, um, y'all see that I don't really do this often. Dude, they make sure this joint is secure. Like you see this rubber band? They got two rubber bands on this joint. Okay, one. I'm gonna make you work to get to this hair, boy. Thank you. It is double wefted. I think that's the, the way you say it, double wefted. So this is it. This is with it being side by side. Pretty standard, I think, length. I said it's not gonna be a tutorial, but I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be using. I got a wig cap from the supply store. It's extra large. I probably shouldn't have got it extra large. But I feel like the one that I have on now is an extra large. Here's the net that I'm gonna be using to sew the wig down. This says extra large. I don't feel like no extra large to me. Hopefully it's not too small. I actually like these adjustable straps better. This one you just have to filter through this thing right here. I prefer that than the little clips. I feel like they always come out. They just be chilling, flapping around. I just feel like they're so pointless. I got some black thread. My mannequin head is over in the bathroom and some scissors. And I'm gonna go ham. Oh, I didn't show you guys the closure. I didn't show you guys the closure. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so, ooh, ooh. This is pretty. This is not the same hair. This is not the same hair. This is way softer. Way softer than this. And the curls are a little bit looser than this. This is not the same hair. Anyway, sorry y'all, I just got excited. But here's the, the closure. So, that's everything. Now I'm going to go ahead and sew the wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm a little scattered brain, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video.
everyone, this is a few days later. I finished the wig. I cut the lace, I tweezed the part, and I put some combs in it. So combs at the temple, a comb in the back, and a comb in the crown that I don't need. I wanted to show you guys what my hair was looking like underneath the wig before I put it on. So yeah, it's just in a really low bun. And I kind of slip this down. I can't do cornrows on my relaxed hair myself, so I'm gonna have to have somebody do them for me. I plan on just wearing wigs up until I get my next relaxer, which will be in November. Which I promise you guys, I'm going to do a relaxer update. So many people have been asking me about my relaxed hair. It's still relaxed, even though right now it looks extra natural. It's also here is also relaxed, and I will be doing an update in November when I get my relaxer. So, anyways, let's go ahead and put this wig on. <laughs> This is what the wig looks like on, I was gonna do my makeup, but I just finished doing my skincare routine. I don't like putting makeup on after I use my face brush, so sorry that I'm not super glam in this video to show you what the hair could look like when you're super beat, but this is what it's looking like. I'll do a spin around in a second. This is the closure. You can see this line of demarcation. I think I really want to add some straps so that's tighter and maybe that would help get rid of this line. And then me also doing a better job at parting. Yeah, y'all, this is what it looks like. The closure is definitely looser than the actual curls of the hair, as you can see. It's really dark, and I'm kind of thinking about coloring it. So I'm gonna try to spin around. And y'all, sorry about my bed. I got no sheets on my bed right now because I'm in the process of doing laundry, so yeah. I'm gonna try to spin around for you guys so that you can see all angles of this hair. Thoughts on the hair thus far. I actually really, really like it. I didn't expect that I was gonna like it so much, but it's super natural looking. Um, I did cut it a lot, honestly. When I finished the wig, it was looking a little mullet-ish. The ends were really scraggly, and they came out to like maybe right here. Okay, so this is what happened. So I told you guys that I wanted to use full 18, half of the 16. That wasn't gonna be enough hair. <laughs> I put the rest of 16 in there and then I still wasn't really satisfied with it just yet. I cut it a little bit at an angle. I do kind of want it to be a little bit more angled potentially or I might just leave it alone. I will also cut a little bit to frame my face, but so far so good. Today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually going to be washing it. It's supposed to be human hair. I've never owned kinky curly human hair so I don't know how this stuff reacts in water so it's gonna be interesting to see what this hair does as I wet it and detangle it and let it air dry because the whole point was to be able to have some hair that I can throw on and when it starts to look raggedy I can just wash it, co-wash it, detangle it, plop it back on my hair, let it air dry and it become defined again. That was the point. So I'm gonna try that today and see what happens and hopefully the curls bounce back and everything is fine if it's human hair like it's supposed to. I will not straighten this hair. I have learned my lesson from straightening curly weave. I am not here for that. If it's supposed to be curly, I'm gonna leave it curly. They say, oh, you can straighten it. Yeah, no. I'm not doing that. I'm actually excited about detangling this hair because I feel like it's gonna get rid of all of the extra hairs that are just kind of stuck in there. And I'm excited to see how it air dries. And I'm gonna show you guys what all of that looks like. I'm gonna get off camera, wash the hair, come back with it wet, and then once it's fully dried, I'll come back on camera and let you guys know my final thoughts on this hair, this hair company. Is it worth your money and whatnot? Cool? Bye y'all.
at a loss. I'm at a loss. All right, y'all. I just finished washing this hair. Bro, like, I am shocked and pleasantly surprised. I definitely need to cut this thing because this is, this is kind of crazy. This thing washed amazingly. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to wash and detangle the way. Y'all look at this hair. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am ecstatic right now. Like I can't even believe how well this hair did. We'll see how it dries. But let's just say I'm extremely satisfied. I'm about to add a little bit of more of the Tresemme on to the hair. I haven't had natural hair in so long. So my technique of taking care of this hair might be a little suspect. Y'all, I'm I can't even believe how well this hair did. I was shocked. Do, do y'all see this hair? Like, do you see it? Can you see? I think I might have run the brush through it a little too much. I don't want it to be crazy puffy. Like, that wasn't the idea. I can't wait to try and twist out some stuff on this hair. I can do whatever I want. But straighten it. I am not straightening this hair. <laughs> so hopefully I didn't frizz it up too bad and it'll be able to air dry true to itself. I will come back and let you guys know how it air dries. Ooh, it's been a long day. But I had to come and show you guys the final size of this hair. It is officially 10.31. Just finished taking a shower. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I did have to take this wig off to shower because if I showered, I'd get it wet because it's not fitting in nobody's shower cap. But I just popped it back on so I can do this video and film my final initial thoughts on this hair. So clearly it got huge. I didn't think it was gonna get this big. Honestly, I was not expecting it to be this big. This hair is giving me Joan from Girlfriends. Can y'all see that? This hair is giving me Rue from Hunger Games or I forget her name in the movie, but in the movie, everything, everything, oh girl, Rue. It's giving me a little bit of her. This hair is amazing. This hair doesn't have any product in it at all. And like I said earlier, I felt like I might have brushed it out a little too much. And I think that's why it's as big as it is. It doesn't have any defining products in it or anything. This is just basically the hair by itself air drying. If my joint ain't blending right, it wasn't blending right before. Sorry, I didn't put any effort into fixing my part, making sure everything blended. So forgive me, it could look a lot better. And in the future, I will do videos with this hair being did up, snatched. So. Final initial thoughts, because I am gonna do a final, final thoughts after I've had the hair for a while so that I can give you guys my full opinion on this hair. But my final initial thoughts, I love it. I don't know what else to say. I think it was absolutely worth the money as I am like I spent a whole lot on it. I love the amount of hair that I used. I love the color. Straight on it looks really dark but when I go outside it does turn to be a little bit of a natural brown. I love the versatility. I love the fact that I'll be able to do braid outs and twist outs. It is a little, little on the dry side but like I said it's because there is no product on this hair. It's still super soft. As you see it has incredible movement still. It's beautiful. Like it's beautiful. I would buy this hair a hundred times over. So far, as of only having this hair for about a week, highly recommend you go to Issy Hair, buy you some bundles, make you a wig, and get your entire life, okay? This is not sponsored. Issy though, if you wanna send me some hair though, if you wanna send me some hair though, I'm here for it. If you wanna find the link to this hair, it'll be down in the video description box. Go ahead and click the link, and it'll take you directly to the site on Amazon where I bought this hair from. Best money I've spent in a while. And I've spent some money on some stupid stuff. Let me do a little bit of a spin around so that you guys can see it from all angles. So that's everything as it pertains to this hair, y'all. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. All the specs on the hair will be in the video description box as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I filmed it over a few days, but I was able to get it out and that's all that matters. So praise God. And it's the hair, easy hair, whatever the thing's called. Send me some bundles. I 
got your back. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead and click that subscribe button so we become family. Also, you can follow me on social media. All my handles will be down below in the video description box. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. I will see you guys on the next one. Have a blessed night, y'all. Bye, y'all. I don't know if you know this. But beautiful things don't need attention.